The end of the semester is near, and grades will be due soon. Let's look at our top five gradebook tips for the end of the semester. Our first tip is setting up the gradebook for grade calculations. Most would go directly to the gradebook. However, that's not the place. Your gradebook is set up in the assignments area. Assignments are organized in assignment groups. For a course that uses total points for the final grade calculation, one assignment group will suffice and is straightforward for the students. It is important at the end of the semester to ensure that assignments are located in their appropriate assignment groups. As assignments get added, you may see an imported assignments area and will need to move any assignments into the appropriate groups. Assignment groups can be used to help drop the lowest grade for a collection of assignments. Let's create an assignment group for quizzes. Then move all quizzes to this group. Edit the assignment group and enter 1 to drop the lowest grade and click Save. For each assignment group, a percentage is calculated by dividing the total points a student can earn by the total points possible for all assignments in that group. This helps courses that are based on percentages. Assignment groups are required for each weighted group. Once all assignment groups are created, ensure that all graded activities are properly associated, then assign the percentages for the overall grade calculation. The most important My Classes feature to students is the grades. In fact, a properly set up gradebook is extremely important as students can use a what if feature to calculate grades. You can use this feature in your own course by using the student view. Click settings and then on the right select student view. Students can enter in potential grades on assignments that have not been graded or turned in to see how this will affect their overall grade. So what if you don't use the gradebook for all of your grade calculations? Then we recommend hiding the totals from your gradebook. In turn, this will remove the what if grade feature for your course to the students, which may be a blessing in disguise as students will not be misled by what they see in my classes. To select this setting, click Settings, scroll down to the bottom, select More Options, and then select the option to hide totals from the gradebook. Our third tip addresses students who have missed assignments. A dash represents any assignment that is missed or ungraded. During the semester, the gradebook provides a running total based on the graded activities the students have completed. Any assignment with a dash in the grade column is not being calculated as part of the grade. If you click on the total grade for a student, you will see how many points they have earned out of the grade assi graded assignments completed. As you can see, our first student has completed assignments worth 510 possible points, while another student has completed more assignments worth 540 points. However, both are showing total percentages. For final grade calculations, it is highly recommended that faculty replace all dashes with a zero for missing assignments. A fast way to enter zeros for missing assignments is to use the Set Default Grade option at the top of a grade column. Enter zero for the number of points. Ensure that the option to overwrite already entered grades is unchecked and then click Save. You can also exempt 
a student from an assignment which will remove that assignment from their final grade calculation. Enter EX as a grade for any assignment in which the student is exempt. Our fourth tip is the grade override option. This feature allows you to adjust the final grade based on other considerations, such as student engagement, extra credit, etc. To turn on this option in grades, select the setting icon, select the advanced tab, select the, the allow final grade override option and click update. To the right of the total column, the override grade column will appear. Adjust any grade as needed. In the student view, any grade in the override column will be represented as the total grade. Our last tip is for the end of the semester. Faculty can download a backup copy of the grades to an Excel spreadsheet for safekeeping. Select Export and then save the file to a desired location. Thank you for watching this tip of the week. For more information about the gradebook, please refer to the Canvas Guides or contact Instructional Design and Delivery.